Welcome back, friends. And that was an important message prior to us uh, taking on our visit with the history of DeAndrea guitar picks. Let's get right into the details here. Uh, we have 88 U.S. made tortoiseshell picks on the board, 77 of which are DeAndrea, meaning that there are 11 times as many known DeAndrea picks on their on the board as there are the others, meaning that uh, DeAndrea far outnumbered in terms of sheer production uh, the picks produced a ten of tortoise shell from the 1920s to the early 1970s when they were banned. I'm going to go over to the upper right and start with the, the oldest picks on the board, and that's these two uh, squares right here, and uh, these three as well right here. These are from the 1920s, and they're shown in the 1927 catalog, and it's just amazing to see how large these squares are, and at one time that was considered a guitar pick, but they're very rare, and uh, I'm just happy to be able to have acquired them for my collection. Next row here, we get a couple very rare pieces from the 1940s, in particular this one that has markings, uh, or I should say grooves on the end. Now there was a, a piece of rubber, elastic, that was once uh, wrapped around that, it was intended to improve grip, and these little uh, end cuts here were to keep that uh, material from moving or slipping off the pick. So there are some in very impressed logos here, and we may not even be able to see them. They're so light, but they're right on these three picks right here, and I'm going to tr try to show them or, or get some light on them anyway. Because it's important for you to take note, this is the first DeAndrea logo seen at all. It's an impressed, hyper rare, don't see it showing up there, and uh, it does show up right there. If you look closely, you can see the, uh, the DA just ever so lightly impressed upon that. And that could actually be seen in catalogs from the uh, 1940s. So a very fine uh, group of exquisitely old D'Andrea catalogs. We see here perhaps the experimental shapes similar to the uh, 362 in celluloid. Uh, we have a number of other D'Andrea picks, and even though they don't have uh, the name D'Andrea on them, any of this group over here, we know they're D'Andrea because this, the shapes are exclusive to D'Andrea. And we have a, a series of mandolin picks right here, all through this area. Some banjo picks right here. And moving down to the uh, bottom here, various types of uh, what are frequently referred to as jazz picks. All of these being produced between the 1940s and uh, early 1970s. Now, the difficulty in fixing their age any further... Uh, just can't be done simply because tortoise shell has the same appearance throughout time and not not the case with celluloid itself which does change over time so even if these were celluloid tortoise imitation tortoise picks we could uh, make a more finite determination of the rage but that's not the the case with these right here since all these shapes were offered from the 1940s on but these shapes up here were quite exclusive to the 1920s, and this one, the 19, and these from the 1940s. So moving over here to the right, it gets a little bit easier because we see D'Andrea's uh, first printed gold logo right here, which is considered the oldest logo from the 1950s. We see it in a multitude of shapes that are also represented by celluloid picks they produced. But the thing with tortoise, it's so hard that the dyes that cut these picks uh, deform easily. And what could have started out as a pick like this ends up with a shape like this if the dye itself is repeatedly used after it's been deformed. And you can see variations, especially if you're a collector and familiar with the danger shapes. Variations of the 351, for example, right here that we also see with tortoise shell picks and down here. But these gold logos are the oldest, perhaps uh, even 1940s, late mid or late 1940s. 
And there's two variations here. The, the common was the, the, the gold logo showed up as gold, and it would eventually fade over time, and, and you can't even see it there, but it faded. You could still see the logo, however. Now, this one here actually says a D'Andrea product. It's the only one on my board here that actually says that. Some exquisitely rare shapes right here in the 347 version of tortoise shell. We see it here in the 348, the 352, uh, 351, the shape of which most people are familiar with, the 349 right here, <clears throat> 363, 369 right there. And here's an interesting twist. We have a bullseye on this white. We're moving down to the white, just one row of white. And I generally regard them from the uh, mid or late 1950s into the early 60s. And uh, that's when they, DeAndre was also using that target, which that target, I believe, was probably used for centering the die in the early days of them printing. And after they print it, they may have decided, hey, you know, that looks cool in and of itself. Why don't we do a few with that? And when we turn the bullseye over, there's the DeAndrea logo right there. So interestingly, the back is white. And the logo is gold, which tells me this may have been actually made in the late 40s, early 50s. Then later on, a few years later, five or ten years later, the bullseye added to it. Very rare to come across a bullseye, genuine tortoiseshell, the annual guitar pick. Moving down here into these uh, marked with the, what is actually labels, gold labels, just placed on the pick saying genuine tortoiseshell. These are from the late 60s, early 1970s. Still very, very difficult to come by. And again, we see them in specific Deandra shapes right here. You may just notice the different types of uh, tortoiseshell in terms of uh, density of color. And I've attempted to arrange them from left and right to lighter shades, to darker shades, as with these three right here. All the same shape, all the same logo, but the tortoise color itself appears differently, and that's why I have those duplicates in the collection. And what's really huge is these two blonde pieces. You don't see blonde guitar picks very often, but there's two right there. So uh, just remember, early 50s, 1950s, for the gold logo, white logo, uh, late 50s to 60s, and... Uh, the uh, silver modern logo, if you want to call it modern, are still 50 years old, and the late 60s, early 70s. Now we're going to look at those 11 picks I mentioned, and they're all down here. These are not D'Andrea shapes, very similar to, they could have been produced a few perhaps by D'Andrea as experimental models, but that's not known. Now the next group I'm going to show are actually corrugated picks. There's three different styles of corrugation and uh, these show up in American catalogs and I have no evidence that DeAndre ever produced these and in fact these may have came from Germany but they show up in US catalogs so I have them here very exquisite uh, corrugation forms all three different and uh, here we just have some shapes, as previously mentioned, similar to D'Andrea. So we could talk about a, a lot more about tortoiseshell, and we'll be doing other videos with tortoiseshell from other countries. So stay tuned. This was Joe at Playmore doing the t genuine tortoiseshell video for D'Andrea and a few other American picks. You can reach me directly at finepicks7 at yahoo.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.